That wasn't a good one. Do a proper. No, it needs to make that. Angle your hand like this. Like a No, no, no. Angle your. Hey, it's freezing right now. I am in the outskirts of Paris. I've come here to test. So normally, when I'll test a car, it'll be like a well-known brand, and then they've come out with a new car. Uh, myself and other YouTubers or whoever get invited to test the car. However, now it's slightly unusual because this is actually a new brand and this is their first car ever. Now then, the car in question is behind me. That is it. Now I know it probably doesn't look like a supercar or anything like that, but I'm actually, and I'm also not just saying this because I'm here and they've invited me, etc, etc. I'm actually really excited about this car. It's very cool. It's a DS7. Now it's part of the same group of ownership that uh, Citroen or other big companies are in the PSA group, I believe it's called, but they're launching DS as like an um, upscale luxury brand. So, this is meant to compete with like the German SUVs. So, we're talking like Porsche Cayennes, we're talking Audi Q5s, like all of that sort of stuff. So, high end, high end cars. I'm excited about it. It's got some really cool technology, it's got some really cool design features as well. Actually, you know, I'll show some of some of them to you now. It's got this sort of diamond feature all over the place, and then these lights. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do they not remind you of a Chiron, a Bugatti Chiron? But they can turn around, um, and then the diamonds get carried on here. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the spec on this one, black, and these rims aren't the nicest I've seen. There are other rims which are nicer, but the the black also probably doesn't show it off as much as possible. The diamonds get continued around here. DS7 Crossback. Inside, there hides another surprise. Nina is here. Oh, it's so nice to be inside. What are you giggling at? I took a video of you vlogging. No. Here's the key. Pretty, pretty standard key. But one cool feature I'll show you. There are a bunch. I'll show you one now, then we'll get driving, and then I'll show you more when we arrive at our next destination. But look at all of this design. I'll give you a full tour of the interior because there are some really nice touches around here in a tiny bit. But, I mean, look at the, these screens. First thing I want to show you, then we'll get driving, is when I switch to car and I press that stop start button, BRM watch pops out of the dashboard. And we need to hit the road because we're going to some castle. Uh, on the road, I'll talk to you about some of the features. Can we turn down the air? Oh, it's nice. 15 degrees. 15. Well, you do your side. <laughs> it's going to be nice and toasty on my side. I know it's not the right time. But I'm gonna try the massage seats. Cat paw, wave, stretch. 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 The leather feels nice. The steering wheel is a really nice feel. The paddles are very, very nice. Actually, what's different is it's like a button you press, so you don't pull the whole paddle, which is quite different. But actually, surprisingly, I quite like it. Now we can switch from so there's eco drive mode, normal, and comfort. So comfort is the one that we're cruising in because I figured that that's probably the most appropriate right now. I'll show you in a bit, but it also does this really cool thing where effectively the car will drive itself, it'll steer itself, it'll brake, accelerate, keep you in its lane. I'll show you that on the motorway when we're on our way back. Very, very cool technology. What blows me away first of all is just the, the infrastructure of this interior mainly. I mean, there's like really good speakers, uh, focal, which are like a leader in terms of developing sound, speakers, everything, have developed the speakers for this car. And then just the design is very cool. So in order to show you that, I think I need to stop again. So whilst we're in the car, I thought I'd give you the interior tour. This is a microphone I'm wearing right now for all of these. Nina's here, we just had our tea. But all of these buttons are so nicely designed. We've got our four window selectors, the unlock lock. This is for the child lock on the windows. Um, which is pretty simple. Then we got the parking brake and driving modes, but it's all so nicely molded. This gear shifter is also with the leather. It's a really nice texture, really well made. And when we come up here, a bunch of interesting buttons. The sound selector is actually really cool. Nice. Sound systems are good. Um, so then you got the on and off, obviously, and then all of your different buttons to select what you're in, if you're doing nav or anything like that. So we'll put this back on, but all touch screen, and this massive sort of iPad-like screen right here, um, which is awesome to see, and then just a bunch of different options you can go through. So this will show you all of these different things. You got your driving modes, you got your car select, and then here we can switch through a bunch of different modes, um, which is pretty cool to be able to see. It's nice, this new technology, when you've got all, all sorts of different screens. 
Where are you going? My cashmere? Ooh, my massage is on. At night time, these, these things on the side will light up. Uh, similar to the S-glasses, actually. You can kind of see it on that side, but it's not quite dark it enough. Yeah, beautiful good. views. Nice leather steering wheel. Yeah. It's just a nice, premium feeling SUV. The SUV market is a really interesting place at the moment with a bunch of new brands coming out and a bunch of premium brands are going to come out with their SUVs. So Ferrari are going to make an SUV, Rolls Royce are going to make an SUV, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamborghini are making an SUV. So there's a bunch of different areas that will be aborted by the SUV market and the sports SUVs. Now this eventually, once the engines get upgraded, will take part in that sport SUV market. Right now it's purely luxury. As I say this as I'm getting a massage, but it's a super interesting area. And I think it's a good way for DS to have launched their company because effectively, DS used to make cars in partnership with Citroen, but now this is them launching by themselves as their own brand, and it's very cool to see. And the SUV being a hit market at the moment, you can be comfortable, you can go anywhere, is very cool. So I've spent a lot of time in the Porsche Macan, and in terms of uh, quality and everything, and gadgets, this has more gadgets. The quality is similar feeling, but it's just such an interesting uh, market. I'm interested to see what Rolls Royce will come up with because theirs will just be so luxurious. Uh, Bentley obviously have theirs and then seeing how Ferrari and Lamborghini will keep the essence of their companies whilst uh, building an SUV. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting segment of the car market that uh, I look forward to exploring more. So we're trying out the different driving modes. There's sport, comfort, normal and eco. So in comfort, for example, it's got, what's it called? DS Active Scan Suspension. DS Active Scan Suspension. So Mercedes S-Classes and different cars have this where it will scan the road in front of you. And do I turn? Nope, I go straight here, sorry. So it will scan the road in front of you. So here, for example, there's a speed bump. It will predict the speed bump coming, prepare the suspension so that... I mean, you still feel the speed bump, obviously, <laughs> but it's more comfortable than it would normally be. Then, it, then it's got in other things such as eco it's got this uh free wheeling setting so if i let go of the steering of oh, the accelerator sorry it will free wheel basically its way down so it will go in really low rpm to basically use as little fuel as possible so cool little technology features like that which will make this car more comfortable and more eco-friendly um, so we're just exploring the different features i thought i'd bring you guys along to experience them with us but it's pretty cool let's discover sport mode with the paddles engaged. See how this thing handles. Oh, got louder, didn't it? Not bad at all. I mean, it's by no means a sports car, but for a car in this class, it's doing pretty well. This is the, what's it called? DS Connected Pilot. The DS Connected Pilot effectively means, look, this is what it means. I can let go of the steering wheel and we're getting quite close to the right. <laughs> but no, the car will drive itself. I need to keep my hand on the steering wheel or else it'll tell me, but I'm not doing anything. My legs are up here, my hands are here. We're cruising on the motorway. It's holding us in the middle of the lane. So it's more than just a lane recognition system where when you hit the white line, it'll bring you back in the middle. This will feel how far you are from both sides of the lane and keep you in the middle of it and sort of follow that. So it's telling me to put my hands on the wheel, which means that you can basically just cruise along like this and you're not really doing anything so it's absolutely fantastic but you still have to be careful but you still have to be careful you still need to watch where you're going that is very true Nina high five Wait. that wasn't a good one do a proper no it needs to make the angle your hand like this no 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 angle your no yeah we're turning onto another motorway I am not doing anything Look at this, guys. The road is on a slight, slight curvature. We're merging. Let's see if I can do it. Look, I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching the steering wheel. Make sure the steering wheel. Yeah, I don't know if I should be doing this filming at the same time, but look, it's braking now. You can see the speed going down. Oh, there's a truck right there. I'm gonna keep my hand on the steering wheel just in case. We just merged from one motorway to the other, and I didn't do any of it. Pretty cool. Keep your hands on the steering wheel, sir. Keep your hands on the steering wheel now, or you shall die. DS7 Crossback. I'm very happily surprised by this car. Now, DS, I wasn't sure what to expect of them. Them being an upscale, upmarket brand. Very cool. 
and the cars they've come out with, also very cool. Ooh, I got this microphone here. Thank, thank you, Nina. Thank you for watching this test drive. We're gonna go inside, get some lunch, and see you very soon. Car, ready? Steady, do it with me. Click on three. One, two, three.